Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a super special day because I just picked myself up the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I've been waiting a long time for this phone and it is finally here on November 13th. I actually went to pick this up at eight in the morning at the local Apple store. I got the 128 gigabyte model. I don't need the 256 just yet. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So iPhone written on the side in graphite. Now that will change depending on the color that you get, of course. Then a space gray Apple logo right here. iPhone again in gray. The front's got a cool little design, which that will change, of course, based off the color that you get too. Apple logo on the bottom. Let's go ahead and give the satisfying peel rip. I love the black box. It makes it look really, really cool and premium. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Oh my God. I love the look of the graphite. That looks super, super nice with the matte finish. Three camera setup, LiDAR scanner, the Apple logo. You can kind of see it as I move the phone and tilt it. So in a lot of reviews, I've seen that fingerprints collect really easily on here, which you can kind of see on the camera a little bit. It does collect pretty easily. Well, let's go ahead and take the little screen protector off. Screen size is absolutely huge. I love that. Stainless steel edges. I think that looks really, really good. You can see it collects fingerprints really easily, but they kind of fade away. The ones on the side tend to stay a little bit more. Speaker setup and lightning port. Let's go ahead and see what else is in the box. So as you guys probably know, the power brick doesn't come in the box anymore, but you do get a USB-C to lightning cord. Personally, I didn't have a lot of those laying around, so I picked up the 20 watt adapter. This is the one meter USB-C to lightning now Apple does make other sizes so if you need a different size you should be covered inside here we have designed by Apple in California now inside you get your little sim ejector some paperwork and then one Apple sticker leave a comment down below of what you guys do with the sticker because I honestly don't do anything I probably have stickers from the last maybe like 10 years just sitting around never really knew what to do with those but other than that that is it box is super slim because there's not really much in it as you just saw all right let's turn it on your classic hello screen and then we'll just go here English I am in Canada I'm going to set it up to my Wi-Fi network which is Stark Industries 5G this phone is just gorgeous I definitely need a clear case so I can just see the beauty of the actual phone itself continue we'll set up face ID I will create a passcode and I do have an iCloud backup just to make everything super easy and super smooth for the transition to the Pro Max terms and conditions always go Going to hit agree without actually reading anything so the one that i'm going to be using is the iphone xr one this was like the day that i sold it so it's going to bring everything right over here to the new phone continue i'll set up apple pay later i do want to use my nike watch i'll share my audio recordings why not and my analytics and my app analytics now we're just going to restore from iCloud. okay so the icloud backup is all done right now it's just downloading all of my apps and everything exactly how i have at it on my iPhone XR. I love the display size. The fingerprints are definitely visible on the side as you can see there, but it is a gorgeous phone overall and I really like the space gray slash graphite color. It almost reminds me of like Batman looking at this for some reason. Big upgrade from my iPhone XR and especially the iPhone 8 that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. I'm planning on finding a clear case so I can see the stainless steel edges and also the back of the phone. But for now, I have the 12 Pro Max silicone case from Apple in black. So guys, that is it for the 12 Pro Max unboxing and setup. Super nice looking phone. I cannot wait to use it for a little bit and then put a full review up on the channel. Gorgeous phone. Now I was so close to getting Pacific Blue, but I just changed my mind last minute and was like, oh, I think uh, Graphite I'll like longer. I felt like Pacific Blue I would like for only like a couple of months and then wish I got Graphite. So I stuck with my gut and just went with Graphite, but we'll see if I was right or not. Maybe I'll be 
craving that Pacific Blue down the line, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for all of my apps to download and actually use my new phone. For now though, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Lots of videos coming for the rest of the month and my HomePod mini should be here in the next few days. So review coming on that as well. But for now, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah.